Hey everybody, it's Gordy with Arkansas Preparedness Network coming at you this afternoon. We're going to call this one, um, Is the FCC Coming After My Bowfang? Part 2. <clears throat> I hear your comments, I read your comments, and um, I think I need to do something to, to make things a little more clear. So, big discussion has been about this. This is my, my wife's Bowfang radio that does have an FCC ID in it. So that, that I said that would make that a legal radio. <clears throat> so in order to discuss that with you and explain to you how that works, um, I printed off this again. This is the uh, grant of equipment authorization from the FCC for that, uh, that radio. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But what's happening is these radios are being type accepted under part 90. You see that right there under part 90. So FCC regulations part 90 covers business band radios, commercial radios. And commercial radios um, generally have a, a frequency uh a bandwidth that's a lot wider than the amateur band. And again, we're looking at this. This is the same equipment authorization. And you see right here, um, well, let's see, where is it? Yeah, right there. <clears throat> it says 136 megahertz to 174 megahertz, and then basically it's 400 megahertz to, uh, what is that, 480 megahertz. So this radio has been certified by the FCC under Part 90, and it is allowed to transmit on 136 to 174 and 400 to 480. Okay? So, does the amateur band fall within that? Yes, it does. So, yes, according to that, this radio is legal to be used. But as I was looking over this document, I noticed something that I didn't notice before. Right here under wattage. In the VHF band, it's only certified to transmit at 1.3 watts. And on the VHF band, 1.78 watts. You guys see that? Part 90 certified, the frequency range that it's certified in, but the transmit power limit that's set for it under that certification. Just a few minutes ago, I put this little radio on my uh, power meter. And just as advertised, it transmits at 4 watts. Not 1.3 watts. It transmits at 4 watts on the 2 meter handbands. So, this radio does not fall within its certification limits. So, yes, this radio is illegal. Let's look at another Chinese radio. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with these. This is a Radioddity GD77. This is a VHF, UHF, DMR, and FM radio. Um, I got this radio on Amazon for like 95 bucks. It's a good DMR radio, eh, it's mediocre on FM because the squelch, it doesn't have good squelch for analog uh, communications in it. And I pulled up the FCC grant of authorization for this radio right here. This is the, uh, the Radioddity GD77. See right there, it says GD77. And this radio also is licensed with the FCC under part 90 at 136 to 174 on the two meter band and again 400 this one only goes to 470 okay and its wattage is 5 watts on all all bands sorry about that the winds blowing a little bit so this radio transmits 5 watts. It falls 100% within 
it's FCC grant. So this radio is legal. It is basically this equipment is licensed, if you will, with the FCC to transmit on 136 to 174 megahertz on the VHF band. And that's exactly what it does. It's licensed, if you will, with the FCC to transmit up to 5 watts. That's exactly what it does. So this radio is totally cool. Going back to my wife's little blue Bofang radio that I got her four years ago. And looking at the grant for it, 136 to 174 megahertz, FCC said that's cool. However, the FCC only said up to 1.3 watts. And it's easy for the user, or me, it's easy for the user to change that to 4 watts. That's a no-no with the FCC. So hopefully that will clear things up a little bit. If you've got questions about your equipment, find the FCC ID number, okay? Find the FCC ID number and do a Google search, guys. Find the equipment grant and see what the equipment grant says. If that equipment meets what that grant says, then that equipment is just fine. You will have zero worries whatsoever with the FCC. But, like the blue radio, if it is capable of doing more than what the grant says it's allowed to do, eh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Or if you have a piece of equipment that was never certified with the FCC. Now, see, that's where some of the confusion has come in. You can have equipment that has never been certified with the FCC. And that's fine. Under amateur radio rules, if that equipment has never been certified, as long as it transmits only within the amateur bands, so if that piece of equipment could only transmit from 144 to 148 megahertz on VHF without an FCC certification, and it's not easily user modifiable to transmit outside that, that equipment is fine for amateur use and amateur use only. But again, both of these radios were certified under Part 90, which is commercial radio use. One of them falls within the guidelines, is 100% fine. I could use this on my fire department, I could use this on a law enforcement frequency, I mean, provided that I had privileges, you know, I was allowed to transmit on those frequencies if I was a member of the fire department, member of the law enforcement agency, whatever. So keeping that in mind. But this radio is 100% legal to be used on any of those frequencies at that power level because it can't be modified to transmit outside of that. Totally cool. Again, back to the little blue bow thing that I got for my wife. It meets the frequency requirements of its certification, but it transmits at a higher power than what is allowed in the grant. So that's a problem as far as the FCC is concerned. Um, sorry I didn't catch that the first time, and hopefully that will clear things up. Look up the FCC ID number of your equipment and see what the grant says it's allowed to do. If, again, if it does not have an FCC certification and it's sold as amateur radio equipment, then it is only allowed to transmit within the amateur bands. Plain and simple. As long as those guidelines are followed, everything's totally cool. Anything outside that, you guys are on your own. Now, again, this little blue radio, as I said in the last video, I'm not going to get rid of it. It just means that I'm not going to use it on a regular basis. It's going to become an emergency radio, and if something happens and it's my last resort, then I've got it. Okay? All right. I hope that cleared things up. Um, if you've got any more questions, you know, put them in the comments or whatever, and I will try and answer them as best I can. But uh, anyway, <laughs> happy Sunday afternoon to you guys. With that, I'll say God bless, shalom, and I'll catch you next time.